finally said, I want to snap Van by the throat and shake him. I did too, in a sense. You know what I mean? Van was auditioning. Go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) Gregory, yeah, that's another thing too. I really think, for real, for real, for real, for real, I think. By the way, I, I'll say after I get through this super chat, Kevin Brower. The first thing that came to my mind seeing Van Jones act like that was Cooney. Yeah, you get zero from Joe and that hoe. <laughs> no, 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 you can't say that. No, you can't say that. You can't. I can't. Oh, no, no, I can't no, no, no. That. And we don't filter nothing in here. We don't. I can't. But, but <clears throat> what what I because of Anderson Cooper, Don Lemon. So imagine what that does mm-hmm. for generations and generations mm-hmm. and generations. And, right. and, 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 right. and I'm very conscientious of that, of how much I intake and, and uh, all that good stuff. What, um, what role did, did you see? And you like, how the fuck didn't I get that role? <laughs> I, I know you talk uh, about all the time with the girls. And now actually I don't. That. Okay. Um, well, I I wanted to be in Black Panther. You know that that have been great. Um, did you audition role? for it? No. Did you audition for it? No, okay. No, 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 no. Just you know, being in it. I don't. I don't know that I had one. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is the world that every when this show came out, I used to get calls like, "Oh my god, you should have did this role." And I did audition for it, but it wasn't for me. It was for Yvonne Orgy, and that's an insecure. The girl who plays the best friend in Insecure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. They uh. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. I don't watch it, but they film it in my business okay. partner's building. So I. And so yeah. Like, totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So in Inglewood. So uh, I uh. Mm-hmm. Right. Like we're all partners in 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 the property game, and uh, so they they actually rented it for like five years. How long? How many seasons has it been now? Matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give y'all a tour of that third apartment. Or fourth. Yeah, third or fourth. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a tour of that apartment because I have access to it. I'm, I'm talking to the people mm-hmm. on the channel. I can go in there anytime I want. I'm glad you yeah, brought that. Yeah, up. yeah, 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 yeah. She plays what? Molly. Or she plays Molly on Insecure, so that would be the role. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Mm-hmm. I've never seen it. Mm-hmm. What, um, what role would you want to create? Want to become? Hmm. Superhero. Design a role. If you could design a role, who did you just say? I'm sorry. Superhero. A superhero. A superhero. What powers would yeah. she have? What powers would she have? Ooh. As a black woman, we want to read your mind. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, there's, okay, wait, there's a superhero that I love already. Um, she's from the DC universe. No, not Storm. She's from the DC universe. Her name is Vixen. Have you heard of Vixen? Vixen? Look her, yeah, Vixen, look her up. Uh Um, she could, she could do, um, her powers where she could transform into any, anything an animal could do, she could do. She could run fast, she could fly, she could jump, she could swim, she could, you know, whatever, do all of that. Um, but DC is from the, um, I mean, sorry, Vixen is from the DC universe. She was in a relationship with Superman, and they were yeah. a couple. Interesting, interesting enough, but you know, Hollywood's not going to tell that story. Um, but it was, it's, I, I love when I found out about her. I'm like a black, dark skinned superhero. Storm was supposed to be dark skinned, they made her light, you know. Um, Wonder Woman has a black sister, her name is Nubia. You know, these are the stories that I would like to see, that I would mm-hmm. like to be for sure, a superhero. Mm-hmm. But I don't want you to. I don't want you to make me lighter. I want her. I want her to be chocolate melanated with shea butter or cocoa butter, as my as my mm-hmm. man say. You know what I mean? I want her with like natural <laughs> hair and like you know, make her black. I want her black. Right. You know, right. that's what I want. Right. I want that representation to be out there. I want that to be palatable for white people. Little girls to be able to look at that and be like, "Wow, that could be me one day." Like that's mm-hmm. important. Mm-hmm. How important is is uh, a representation on screen? Oh my God, it's everything. Because that's what we see. You know, we 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 become 
in our mind what we see. If we've never seen it, most people don't even think it can happen because it's never been done. They've never seen it before. But if you see it and it becomes a norm and, you, and it's something that you feel like it's attainable and achievable, then you can aspire to do that. Mm. Seeing is believing, for sure. Mm. Yeah. I think representation are, is really important. Are you right? That's what I was talking about with black men. I want to see. I am. I, I haven't in a while. I do have stuff that I've written. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I mainly am focusing on acting and then directing. I want I, I was very interested in what you were about to say about black men and how it, how you transitioned from seeing it on screen to black men. I was very interested in that before I cut well, you I off. Know, I know. Yeah, we have that delay thing too. So when it comes uh -huh. in, it yeah, comes yeah, in, yeah. you know? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I was saying. That's why it's important for me to see black men, specifically darker skinned black men portrayed in a pos more positive light. Because if you went in for a casting, like you got on this hoodie, you got your beard with the bald head, they're automatically, you're not getting the guy that's going to be in the suit that owns the Wall Street. No. Mm. You go get the friend that's like the bum on the street that's blah, 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 blah. That's how they're going to depict you. Mm. No, I want to see the guy that looks like you, that got his shit together, that has a nice car in the house and blah, blah, blah. Mm. You know, it's not just, you know, colorism exists, period. Mm. You know, and I want to get rid of that. I've experienced mm. that my whole life being dark skinned. Really? Can you speak upon one? Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm saying sure. really like I'm not really like like I'm shocked. I'm just <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, right, I'm, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying like, could you speak on an instance? Does um, one thing come Hollywood to mind? Or just in general, and, and you can go anywhere you like. Um, well, I'm trying to think of an instance. You know, it's funny. I was at this audition one. I don't know this. It's the same thing, but let me just, this came to mind, so I'm gonna say it. I yeah. was at this audition one time for this commercial and this white casting director comes out and it's a room full of black women because they're casting for a black woman. And this woman says, so I need you guys to be really black. Like, don't come in here not being black. You gotta be really black. Like, I wanna see, I wanna see you guys really be in touch with your blackness. Bitch, what does that mean to you? What do you think that means? <laughs> That was the craziest shit in the world to me. And I was just sitting there looking at her like, what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What? But she literally was thinking, she wanted, that's what she was saying was, I guess in layman's terms, she wanted everyone to be a little bit more, I hate to use this word, but because we'll understand it, it's more ghetto. She wanted mm -hmm. like that type of character, you know? Um, but it wasn't written like that. And that's not what people were going in or doing because it's a, commercial audition but she mm -hmm. wanted this caricature of a of a black woman mm -hmm. and she wanted this like loud obnoxious you know she wanted this like kind of ghetto type personality for this audition and so everybody so then when she did that all these black women started grilling her so hold on what you mean by that but we are we black right now like what so then right. it became this whole thing and she was just and she came down all the way she was like i you know what that's just you know Whatever it means to you, just come in and just, you know, be do your best. We just really want to see, you know, her to have a little sass. Just make her have sass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. But you're not here for the black woman coming out saying some shit like that, bitch. Get the mm -hmm. out of here. Sorry. Oh, we just said that we want the barbershop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like a TV oh, interview. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was, so, uh, I was so in love with. A level higher. Have you ever been disappointed in an actor or an actress in a role? Like, why did they take it? They were terrible. Uh, not terrible, because I don't want because you may have to work for them. Down the line. Who? Absolutely. Zoe Saldana in the Nina Simone story. I didn't see that. I was mad at her. I didn't watch it either. I was like, I was like your boy with Harry, and I boycotted it. But they painted her dark skin, they painted her black so she could look more like Nina Simone. You know who Zoe Saldana is, right? Yeah, yeah. She was yeah. claiming to be black, but she's she's more of a Latin descent. And I was like, but why? But why? And I just felt like, well, why would you even want to take that role? Like, why? Like, why? Mm. That's the role that sticks out for me. And I, mm. I, I think she's a great actor. She's done a lot of great, amazing things. But at the end of the day, I'm just like, what? Mm. No, no, that, that was the one that was, I, I thought that was disrespectful to right. Nina Simone. Like, that's just disrespectful. Right. That's right. how I felt about that for sure. And um, yeah, thank you, Eli, Zachary. Yeah, talk yeah to thank you. We need better, be better black representation. representation. So Wednesday night on BET. We do. 
Uh, what can we expect this season? Season Wednesday two. night on BT, we're coming back. Oh, now you know I can't say nothing. However, <laughs> oh, tell us what you can tell us before we get out of here. Tell us what you can tell us. Uh, okay, we shot season two of Tyler Perry's The Oval. It's coming back in spring of 2021. Uh -huh. Um, you can expect from my character, specifically Priscilla, a whole new side of her. She is going through, if you guys remember from season one, I, my husband is coming out of the bedroom with the first lady mm -hmm. and his dick is hard. <clears throat> uh -huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what, why, why is your dick hard? You, you see that, you see that side of Priscilla. This <laughs> <season>. <laughs> that, that's what you see, uh, from Priscilla trying to understand what, what, what that I ain't, I ain't gonna do that okay all right <laughs> am i working on any um movies right now um yes i'm working on a movie right now it's called um whose baby is it <clears throat> and it deals with um I'm a social worker um it deals with child abuse um mm. so i'm really excited about that i'm actually working that right now I was supposed to work today and I ended up getting off. So this was perfect because I was going, I was like, I got an interview at nine. Cause you know, <laughs> I was about to be in the barbershop. So I got to get off at least by seven. <laughs> <laughs> got to get home, got to get it together. Uh, okay? But then, you know, you yeah. worked it out for me. God worked it out for me that I could just be off all day and be ready for this time. Thank you. Um, Thank and then after this, I'm doing a TV pilot called Scarlet. Where Scarlet. I get to play the lead, it's like a crime mob kind of boss, um, crime crime mob drama, and I'm playing the lead role in that. So the pilot we shoot in December of next month. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. And yeah, thank you for coming in here, man. I was a it was a and you know we've never had conversations in long form. You notice that we've always been in passing Ever. for like 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we used to see each other yeah. more often when 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 the world was open but you know we've only talked to each other for like two minutes at a time I, open, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just thought about that <laughs> when you was like smacking this shit. i'm like i've never seen that side of tosh i've never seen that side of time but man we genuinely think and, and, you and, don't know Tasha, i know <laughs> <laughs> you're right you're right you're right, you're right. <laughs> but uh Please, when this when season two over, come back, come back. Please, come back, come back. And oh, and and, and and you know what we do on the barbershop? So every two weeks, right? Every two weeks, we watch a movie. Okay. And so, so your so your next film that comes out, we'll watch it, whether we got to go to the movie or whether we got to go rent. And honestly, hundreds of people go watch it. We we do. We have the best conversations about movies in here. Swear to God, no lie. I can't make this shit up. I love hundreds, it. Okay. Of people are gonna go watch it, and we, and we give them two weeks to watch it, and we'll come back in here and we'll talk about it. I swear, I no lie, and we cry laughing every other Thursday. No lie. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and so your next I film. I love these your next conversations. Film, okay. Your next film when it drops, whether it's on Amazon, Amazon Prime, Netflix, and the movies, we'll go watch it and we'll come back in here okay. and we'll have the time of our lives. Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. I yeah, we had it. Eric on. We had Eric okay. on uh, uh, Cedra. We had Cedra on last week from 11 Basketball. Uh -huh. And it was the most, mm -hmm. we had so much fun. Oh, we had so much fun because everyone was reliving Love and Basketball and she was the hater that, that hated on Sanai right. Lathan. And he's like, don't lose your spot to yeah, the first. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so it's fun. So please come back. We would love to have you come back, please. And thank you for coming in. Thank you for yeah, man. I'm doing it. With too. We really appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. And your producer's on it, man. She's great. So thank yeah. you. Thank appreciate you. It. I'm glad it worked out. I'm glad it worked out. Love, peace, and hair grease. I'll see you in Atlanta. I'll see you in Atlanta. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hundred singles. I'll, I'll give you a hundred singles. You throw it that way. I throw mine this way. How about that? <laughs> Blue Flame. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I went to because I went to Blue Flame. Blue Flames is not far from Tyler Perry Studios. I don't know if you know that, but Blue Flames is not too far from Tyler Perry Studios because Tyler Perry has his own exit. Yes, he Tyler does. Perry Studio has his own exit. I was like, yes. This Property must be big. I, I I didn't stop. I just went by it on the freeway, and I was like, yeah. "Dang, it's three hundred thirty acres." It's the biggest studio in 
Damn. The nation. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. literally built, built his own. He literally built his own table. He built it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Jay. Finest. Yeah. Thank you. So. Thank you. I appreciate Come back. That. Appreciate you. Will do. You. I'm coming back. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Taja. All, right. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was fun. That was tons of fun. Taja Simpson, y'all. That shit was a blast, yo. That shit was a blast, man. Thank you, Ty. We're going to come back. Thank you, my beautiful black sister. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. And uh, Tyler Perry got his own. Yeah, he got his own exit on the freeway, dog. I was like, hold up. That's when it all makes sense, right? I was like, this shit must be big. And it was at nighttime because I was going to the strip club. And uh, so if it was daytime, I would have stopped. But I ain't going to get pulled over by no patrol guy. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? You going to jail. So I didn't stop. But uh, I was like.